Well, hello friends. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at a few of the fabrics that I just purchased as well as some patterns. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video and we're gonna start with this first piece and this is a two yard piece from Stylish Fabrics. It is a deep red waffle knit fabric and I am excited to make a little uh, cover up with this, either an open cardigan or a sweater. So I will say that it's, it's not thin and it's not one of those knits where you can actually see so it's not transparent or translucent so i like that about it um you can see like my hand through the fabric just a little bit if i pull on it but i'm pretty sure that you can wear like a thin tee underneath and it'll be just fine so it's not too thin it's not too heavy and i like sweaters like this because um, when you're wearing jackets over top of them, you're not going to be like sweating. You're not going to feel like you're in a sauna. So I really like this. It's, it's definitely really nice and it's kind of what I've expected by looking at the image on, on the, uh, monitor on the website. So I really do like it. It wasn't that expensive. The shipping, however it was, I think it was like $7.99 or something like that for shipping. So not too expensive, but definitely could have been a little bit less, uh, but I do like it and I'm excited to make either, like I said, an open cardigan or a, uh, a sweater of some kind. Let me show you a few patterns that I'm thinking about with this one. So if I make an open cardigan, I would do something like this, which is the Simplicity S9373. I just featured this in a video about a week and a half ago, um, the sweater and cardigan video. If you are looking for sweaters or cardigans that you want to make for fall or winter, check out that video. I'll provide the link here and you can go over and check it out. But I think this would be really nice with it. And one of the reasons why I purchased this, if you all remember in that, um, in a previous video, uh, my sweater and cardigan plans, I talked a little bit about that cable knit a red fabric that I had and I was a little bit disappointed uh, that I couldn't make an open cardigan because of the cable knits and so that's one of the reasons why I purchased this here because I will have a little bit more room to play with this and I thought about this one here which is the Simplicity 8950 which is a pattern that I just recently made and uh, I really like it. I made this view here. I think it would be really fun to make this in the plain um, solid fabric. I just made it in a floral fabric and you'll see uh, those, uh, those garments here pretty soon. But I absolutely love this pattern. I think it's still available. Um, it come in sizes six to 14 and 14 to 22. Uh, it does run quite large and so, um, that's what I like about the pattern. So I think this would be a really good fit for that as well. I also thought about the Marlowe cardigan by True Bias and then also the McCall's, I think it's 8247 pattern, which I've made a couple times. So I have a lot of options with this one and I can't wait to, to get my hands on on this and to make something really fun. Next, I picked up this twill gabardine fabric from, it's an Etsy shop. I'll make sure that I link it below. This is supposed to be a rayon um, twill fabric. Now this is more polyester than it is like, like rayon. Like it has like that stiff polyester feel to it. Uh, it does have some drape to it, which I think is really nice and will offer for a really nice uh, blazer. But I was hoping that it would be a little bit more smoother and less, um, less polyester, if that makes any sense, um, being as though it's supposed to be a blend. But it, it's still pretty nice and I think it will offer for a really nice uh, jacket. And that's why I purchased this because I am an ambassador for the Little Red Dress project that is hosted this year by the lovely Renata of the Twilight Stitcher and also the lovely T of Creativity T by T. 
So I decided to uh, purchase this so that I can make a blazer and I'll show you some of the blazer patterns that I have been working on. And uh, part of my pattern haul that I wanna share with you today includes some of those blazer patterns that I picked up. So I'll share with you um, a few of the blazer patterns here. Um, just know that they are part of my pattern haul as well. So here's the first blazer pattern that I've been working on. This is the Simplicity S9468. And I made the variation here with the shawl collar, or this one here. It's the length of view B, but the collar of view C. So I didn't make the notches in the collar. So I really do like this pattern. It has a band on the sleeve. It has these oversized pockets on the front. You have, for your closure, you have one button and a loop. And like I said, you have this, this shawl and you have a drop shoulder and I really like it. And I made a um, black blazer with this and I absolutely love it. You'll see that here pretty soon. And I think I'm going to use this pattern for the red blazer. I haven't decided. It's going to be either this pattern here or this pattern here, which is the Simplicity S9227. So I just made this pattern as well and I just actually picked it up for the last from the last simplicity haul what I like about this jacket is that you have side panels and so you can do color blocking with it the um, collar is actually separated from the lapel whereas on this one when you make your notch collar you're actually just cutting out the notch so it's just one uh, shawl long uh, shawl collar and then you cut the notch out but for this one the lapel and the collar are separate so you do have that and then you can also omit the collar if you just want to have just a lapel so you do have that option because you have the front facing and the back facing that will enclose the raw edge so if you don't want the collar you can do it like that as well this pattern doesn't have the cuff like this one has and you don't have oversized pockets that's placed on the front instead you have inseam pockets this pattern here has a vent on the back so as you can see here there's a vent in the back of the garment but for this one there's no vent on the back of the garment this one also the um, shoulder line sits at your shoulder line but on this one, it's a drop shoulder. So you do have some differences and that's one of the reasons why I picked up these two different patterns because you do have differences in the patterns and I wanted to see how both sews up. And I really like the way that this, like I said, has that side seam so you can do like a color block. And so I am um, going to be making a black jacket that has a color block to it. So I will be making this specifically for that. But I also was thinking about making, um, using this red polyester viscose fabric for this as well. So you all let me know in the comment section below. And there's another blazer pattern that I picked up, but after cutting it, I cutting the pattern pieces, I have decided I might wait on this blazer pattern and it's this pattern here, which is the Simplicity 8697. This pattern is very similar to both of these patterns um, with the exception. So you don't have a drop shoulder for this one. Um, your collar is, um, you have a two part collar here, but you also have a shawl collar. So you have both of these collars and these two patterns you can get out of this pattern as well. You also have that one button detail. The oversized pockets are on the front, so you don't have to worry about the inseam pockets on this one. And then um, you do have the vent on the back. You also have a two-part sleeve that have buttons on the sleeve. Now, one of the reasons why I might hold off on this one is because the two-part sleeve at the bottom, it has, um, and it's not showing it on here, but there's a pleat on it. And I just haven't decided if I really want to have a jacket with pleats on the bottom lower edge of my, of my sleeve. And so um, worst case scenario, I'll use the actual jacket and then I'll just redraft the sleeve if I really want to have a sleeve that's not a two-part sleeve. So those are my 
patterns that I am considering for this red polyester fabric here. So these next two pieces are from Mood Fabrics. So this first piece is an Italian beige and camel herringbone wool suiting fabric. And I purchased this to make a jacket. And the same patterns that I was considering for the red polyester suiting fabric, I'm also considering for this one. So as I mentioned before, I really want to make a jacket with this. I do have the lining that I'm going to be using for the red jacket, but I haven't considered what kind of lining I'm going to be using for this one yet. I purchased two yards of this piece here. So I'm really excited to, to make something with this. Next, I picked up this burnt orange and black cheetah cotton fabric. So this is a stretch cotton fabric. And mostly I was just hoping to make one of my use one of my sweater type patterns to make a top with this i purchased two and a half yards of this and i'm hoping to make either a long sweater type duster or some type of top similar to the um top that i made last year with the black and white dotted fabric which i think is really fun the only thing that I would change about that pattern is the neckline. So I do want to have a lower neckline the next time I make that pattern. And so that's basically what my plans are um, for this particular uh, fabric. And I think I got enough to do um, two tops. And so uh, if that's the case, I will gift my daughter a top out of this. So those are basically all the fabrics that I picked up. So the patterns that I picked up, as I mentioned before, I picked up this Simplicity 8697, which is a blazer pattern. So this pattern comes in sizes 10 to 18 and 20W to 28W. So I picked the size 10 to 18. This does run a little big, so it is an oversized style. So you have to keep that in mind when you're selecting your sizes. As I mentioned before, the sleeve pattern has like a pleat detail at the end of the sleeve, but I love this pattern and I think um, everything else is really fun about the pattern. So you have um, the shawl collar, you also have the notch collar, you have the oversized pockets that you could place on the front. You also have that, um, that closure detail, the button, you can do a one button closure detail or a two button closure detail, which is really fun. And then the back, like I said, has an open vent on the back of the garment. So I picked this up because I want to make a few blazers this year and this was on my list. Next, I picked up the Nomi pattern um, by Nikki Brooks. This is a coat and pant pattern. And I picked up the size 10 to 18. I was a little bit skeptical because usually I need the size 20 or 22 for my biceps, but this is also an oversized uh, coat pattern. So you don't have to worry too much in terms of um, sizing. For those of you who have bigger biceps like myself, you probably won't have to worry too much about the size and redrafting you know, for your biceps. So I really like this and I want to make a coat this year out of um, some wool that I have and it's a hair a herringbone wool and I'm excited to to do that and so the pattern calls for tweed wool blends gabardine cotton blends and uh, for view B which is your trousers it's cotton blends duponi linen blends a sateen scratch wovens and those types of fabrics so I really want to make this coat and that's why I picked that up this is a TNT pattern of mine. So this is a repurchase. It's the McCall's M8067. And I picked this up because I wanted another copy because my previous copy was the six to 14 and I outgrew the size 14 sleeve. So I needed a bigger sleeve pattern. And so I decided to, instead of trying to size up the pattern that I already had, I decided to go ahead and pick this pattern up because I'm jumping from the size 14 to the 18 or the 20. So that's why I picked this up. And like I said, it's a TNT pattern of mine. Really love it. It's just a shirt, a uh, button front shirt. And you have the option to do like a notch collar. You have a long sleeve option that has a cuff at the 
end of the sleeve and then you also have uh, breast pockets on it as well you can also do this v neckline that don't have any um you know a uh, collar or anything like that on it the pattern calls for crepe crepe de chine chalet and lawn fabrics and you do need um five eighths of an inch buttons for the front so for for view a you need four and for view b and c you need uh six so i picked that up I also picked up another Nomi pattern. This is um, the one by Alyssa Threads. It's ME2003. So it, it's a small to 2XL. And I really like the sweater on this. And I've talked a little bit about this when I did my um, pattern um, review or new release video of the Nomi patterns. Absolutely love this here. And I feel like even if you don't like the ruffle, you can omit the ruffle and still have a good pattern. Um, you can lengthen the top if you don't want a crop top, still have a good pattern. So I really like this and I'm looking forward to making something with that. And then lastly, I picked up this jacket pattern. Now, I wasn't going to pick this up, but I've seen so many people um, make this after participating in the, um, the challenge on um, Instagram. So it was one of the patterns that was featured for, I think it was either October or September for the uh, So Your View. And so many people made this and I just thought it was just so fun. And, you know, looking at all the different um, garments that people have created with this. And so I decided to pick this up and I would possibly make either B or a, the one that this model is wearing here, which I think would be really fun. It comes in sizes 2X small to 2XL, 11 pieces, and it calls for fabrics such as broadcloth, you know, corduroy, cotton blends, lightweight denim, flannel, linen blends, scratch wovens, tweed, wool type, and shirt, sweat shirt fleece fabrics. And then for your lining, you need fl flannel, cotton, and polyester. So yeah, I really think that that would be fun and it's only a level 11 pieces, so it shouldn't be too in depth. And so I think that that would be fun. So anyway, those are all my fabric and patterns that I have to share with you um, today. If you have any of these patterns and you've made any of these patterns, let me know what your experience was like. Um, let me know if you had any trouble with any of the patterns so that way when I go into the project I know what I am looking um, to get into so anyway thank you so much for watching today I hope you all have a beautiful and happy sewing week until next time stay creative my friends bye